The four-year project to build Taiwan's first indigenous jet trainer celebrated its success on Monday as the jet, codenamed Brave Eagle, took its maiden flight. President Tsai Ing-wen was at the airbase in Taichung for the launch ceremony and said the project's success should restore national confidence in Taiwan's aerospace capacities. The project has created over a thousand jobs for aerospace engineers. Military officials hope it will open the door for more indigenous jet projects to come. With a great rumble, Brave Eagle takes off and shoots into the clouds. The new indigenous jet was accompanied on its 12-minute maiden flight by a Jingwu Indigenous Defense Fighter, or IDF. The IDF is passing on the baton of maiden Taiwan fighter jets to Brave Eagle. The president's thumbs were working hard as she congratulated the pilots of Brave Eagle's successful inaugural flight. Engineers from the Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation held up placards expressing thanks to President Tsai for her support of the project. Only four years ago, when we decided we wanted to develop and produce an advanced jet trainer in Taiwan, we encountered many challenges. Some people thought that our R&D talent had already withered away and our aerospace industry didn't have the skills or the energy. Others said it would be cost-cutting to purchase jets from abroad. We overcame all those challenges, and our concrete achievements will restore confidence across society in the capacities of our Taiwanese aerospace production. Research and development of Brave Eagle began in 2017. The 68 billion NT project has created 1,200 aerospace jobs and contributed more than 30 billion NT to Taiwan's economy. The aircraft flight control system and electronics are 100% made in Taiwan. Scholars say global export of these components could earn the country 7 billion NT. Meanwhile, the president hopes Brave Eagle will usher in a new era of Taiwanese aerospace. The team that built the IDF is legendary in Taiwan's aerospace industry. Today, thanks to the Brave Eagle project, many talented young professionals have joined the team at Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation. I'm sure that they'll go on to set new records and create new legends. I am truly proud of them. As government officials lined up to celebrate the launch, Financial Supervisory Chief Wellington Ku was spotted next to his wife, the new Economics Minister Wang Meihua. Veterans Affairs Council Minister Feng Shiquan raised a laugh by splitting them up, reflecting the jovial mood of the event.